Well, hello, and thank you for joining us today. I'm excited today because we have visiting scholar Dr. Alan Tai, and we're going to talk about the multiverse for a while. Alan, it's good to have you here. Yeah, it's an honor to be here. Uh, just enjoyed our conversation so far. And I know in our conversations, you mentioned that you read my book, Who's Afraid of the Multiverse? And so I'm just kind of curious, what do you think about the multiverse? Does it seem like a reasonable scientific way to look at things? Yeah, as a physicist, I'm very interested in the uh, science, uh, the latest discovery. And your book helped me to have a fundamental understanding of uh, what is multiverse. Uh, particularly with uh, lately, there's uh, some movie talk about the multiverse. And uh, I also check out different resources. Uh, eventually, I find there's uh, some harmony between uh, what the Bible uh, the book of scripture reveal and this uh, multiverse. Well, you know, I find that fascinating because I, I actually found there's a lot of harmony between the two. And, uh, you know, your, your comment about the movies is interesting because uh, one of my favorite uh, images is I was looking for, you know, what is the multiverse? I actually just typed that into Google and I, the, one of the, my favorite images came up. It's a dad sitting with a daughter and uh, their dad's reading the paper and the daughter asked, dad, what's the multiverse? And he goes, why, it's a plot device for lazy writers, you know, and so it's, it's just funny. I've noticed how many times in movies people use the multiverse to accomplish something instead of developing the story well. But I'm just curious, uh, if you were a betting man, would you say the multiverse exists or not? Well, uh, in science, uh, when uh, there is uh, some discovery and based on uh, the latest uh, development in telescope, so uh, people uh, come up with different theory, uh, hypothesis. Mm -hmm. Multiverse is still a uh, theory. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but based on the string theory and the quantum mechanics, I believe there's a certain degree of uh, evidence that proves that there is some kind of uh, universe beside our current uh, universe. So a lot of people when they, uh, you know, I, I make a statement often that if inflation happened, a level one multiverse, and that's just the idea that there's a lot more stuff beyond the edge of what we could see. Uh, if inflation happened, we live in a level one multiverse. If our understanding of inflation is correct, we live in another, a level two multiverse where there are other bubbles where the right. laws of physics may look very different. That seems to bother a number of people or it's unsettling. Um, would it surprise you to find that we live in a multiverse? Well, uh, all this uh, analysis is uh, good, but as an engineer and scientist, uh, you know the bad box uh, approach, right? Uh, there's some unknown process need to be proven uh, or verified, mm -hmm. uh, by whatever hypothesis you have. So we check the input and the output. Uh, there's uh, one approach uh, we want to check, investigate, right. whether the multiverse and how that uh, in harmony with uh, the Bible. So, so if the multiverse exists, would you find that as being something in tension with what Scripture says, or do you find that aligns with what Scripture says? Yeah, I pretty much find in line and match of what uh, the Bible uh, revealed to us. For example, in Genesis uh, chapter 1, uh, we all know that God, uh, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Uh, and then when He speak, there's a light and... Uh, uh, different material and mm -hmm. immaterial, including the life, and eventually the human uh, was created in the image of God. This can be an input into this uh, back box. Okay. And from that, we check out what's the impact, what's the output, and uh, what's the evidence we have so far. And it's a match of what the multiverse uh, kind of uh, give us some idea. Uh, so, so flesh that out a little bit, because it seems like that the idea, you know, if I would take the, the words of Genesis to kind of be the output. This is what happened. Um, so how are you saying that's the input to the black box? Or make that connection a little clearer for me. Yeah, that's why. Uh, the input, uh, if you analyze a system, uh, you input a certain signal. Okay. And then you check the output uh, response, uh, right. whether it's signal or a different form of uh, output. Right. right. So in this case, uh, the input is God's word. Okay. And God say. Uh, let there be light, and there's light. Of course, when he say uh, in this, uh, definitely is different uh, warm, uh, or because the Bible reveal he live in uh, the uh, new he I'm in the heaven and earth, and the Bible also say there's a new heaven and earth and the third heaven. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of uh, input because human being, when we say something, we cannot uh, create. Maybe there's some okay, impact, okay. right? But only God. 
can create. And oh, okay, so what you're saying there is that, it, you know, God, according to the Bible, God exists, and he's saying this has happened. He hasn't given us the details of how it's happened, right. but yet we can go and say, if he says it's happened, we can go measure it is, even if we don't understand all of what the mechanism he used to do it. Is that what you're talking about? Exactly. The black box? That's a bad box approach. Okay. All right. yeah, okay. That's why. Uh, so in that case, the output, uh, we see uh, the six-day creation mm -hmm. match uh, the latest uh, discovery or investigation uh, based on uh, evidence that uh, the different stage, if you will, uh, that uh, match exactly what the Bible describes. Okay, so, so the idea is God saying, hey, this is what happened in the scripture. We go and we look and we find evidence that the earth was formless and void. We find that continents formed, you know, that that all aligns scientifically or what we measure scientifically aligns with, with what's revealed in the Bible, even if we don't understand all the mechanisms. So how does the multiverse come into play? Why, you know, if, if there's other universes out there, that seems on, on at face value to negate the idea that God's doing it all. Yeah, uh, good question. Because uh, the Bible is uh, really amazing that uh, with the wisdom uh, that uh, embedded inside the uh, Bible. But when the revelation, when uh, it was written uh, 2,000 years and beyond, I mean, uh, and earlier, that uh, they had to speak to the audience at that time. Okay. Plus all the generation up to now, even we can understand. So the Bible uh, didn't specifically say multiverse, but what uh, particular when Jesus Christ come, they, he uh, speak multiple times about he come from the heaven or mm -hmm. from okay. above that uh, no one has, uh, let me read you uh, the Bible, that uh, no one has ascended into heaven except he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. The Bible clearly told us Jesus, not only the Son of Man, but he is Son of God. Mm -hmm. So he have uh, two uh, dual nature, that right. means uh, divine nature and uh, human nature. Right. So it's the idea being, I think if I get, understand what you're getting at is that you know, we live in this universe, we're confined to this universe, right. but Christ coming here is uh, in some sense a multiverse because God is outside above wow. this universe and yet we don't get to go up, but yet he's descended and become part of ours. That's, is that, okay. Yeah, very good uh, discussion. Yeah. Okay, and so in that sense, what, we've, what we see in scripture, the fact that Christ was living, that he has evidence of being God, is kind of evidence that, that there is a multiverse, that there's above, there's an above this universe, the, the realm where God lives. Why? Right. Another uh, Bible verse that's really touched me, uh, even in Genesis uh, chapter 1, it gives me some uh, scope of understand how the creation starts. But not until when Jesus Christ really come uh, 2,000 years ago, magnify uh, what God uh, or teach us, uh, what is the uh, God want us to do? Uh, because He, God is love, so mm -hmm. He want us to be with Him uh, forever. But because of the broken relation, uh, long time ago, as the Bible described, mm -hmm. so He come uh, as a human form, uh, even He's a God Himself, to redeem us, so that when we believe Him or in Christ, then we can be with Him forever. That's the hope uh, at Christ's message give us. Uh, you know, I really appreciate your comments. And, you know, I hope you've enjoyed our conversation here, too, because a lot of people think the multiverse is a threat. But as, as Alan has described, it's, it's really a sign that God exists beyond our realm and he's come and interacted so that we can know him. That's pretty awesome.